Hello, future chess players. This is International Master David Proust for Chess.com. And today I will be teaching you one of the exception rules in chess, which is capturing en passant. And en passant is Francais for in passing. And it is the one capture in chess where your piece does not end up on the square of the piece it captured. Usually in chess, if you were going to capture a piece, you would pick up a piece of yours that was going to do the capture. You would pick up a piece of the opponents that you were going to capture, and then you would put your piece down where that piece had been. And that's how all captures work, basically, is just you walk onto the square where the other piece was, and then you remove it. But en passant is the one exception to that, and it is a special move where the other person's pawn moves two spaces, like this, and then you capture their pawn with the pawn next to it as if they had only moved one square. So it looks like this. Now, let me take you back in chess history a little bit and explain to you where this move comes from to help you remember it. And then we'll just go over it a couple more times. So chess used to have a rule that pawns could move one space at a time. Now they can move two spaces if they are on the second rank or the seventh rank, right? So it used to be pawns could move one step at a time. And so what you would see is you would see the pawns moving like this slowly towards each other. And then finally, they'd come into contact. And now these two pawns, either one could capture the other, and the battle starts. Well, at some point, people's attention spans really decreased. And they decided that they couldn't wait this long to start the battle, right? So they added the rule that pawns could move two steps at a time. But a very, very important thing about pawns is whether they're past pawns or not past pawns. So... It's a very important question whether this pawn here could walk all the way down to the board and become a queen with this pawn never being able to capture it. That's a very, very important question if you have any way to get past this pawn. So theoretically, you shouldn't have any way to get past it. See, no matter how I move the white or black pawns, at some point, there comes a move where they could capture each other, right? If I move them two steps at a time, there still comes a point where they could capture each other. So these are not past pawns. They're pawns which still have an opposing pawn that could get them. So that brings us to this guy over here. Is he a past pawn? No, there is a pawn on the neighboring file, and he should not be able to walk all the way down the board and become a queen without this pawn having the chance to capture him on his trip. But let's say he makes this move. How is this pawn supposed to capture him, right? He's Legally, this pawn's only supposed to capture on these two squares. So did this guy just run right past him? So they decided that that would mess up the way chess played too much. So instead of allowing the pawn to run past like that, they decided to create an extra rule, which is to capture in passing. So when a pawn passes you by, you can capture it by moving as if it had only gone one step. Now, this option is only available for one move. You don't have the option to capture on a3 for the rest of the game. You can't, like, move your king, and their pawn keeps going, and you're doing something with your king attacking this pawn, and they come here, and suddenly you realize that this pawn is going to become a queen, so you move your pawn to a3 and say, I capture your pawn in passing. Absolutely not. You can't even do that if their pawn remains on a4, and they now move their king. You can't suddenly realize, wait, I should capture their pawn. It's a one-time option, okay? So it's just saying the pawn can't go past you without you having the right to capture it for a moment, but if you won't take that right, if you won't exercise it, it's taken away from you, like so many other rights. So, uh, the pawn, if it goes past you, you've got a one-move window in which you can capture it behind like this. All right, so now let me ask you a question. Let's say this pawn here and this pawn. Can this pawn capture that pawn en passant by going to the d4 square, yes or no? The answer is no. This pawn here is not a pawn that has just moved two spaces, right? In fact, all captures en passant must occur with a pawn that has just gone from the second rank to the fourth rank, right? And the pawn that captures it has to be on the fifth rank and then take it, 
Okay, so how about this? Black plays this move. Can white capture this pawn en passant? If you answered yes, you now understand how to capture en passant. And I'm very happy for you. Okay, so one more quick question just to check on your full understanding. So black has a pawn on c4, and now white moves their pawn from d3 to d4. Is black allowed to capture that pawn en passant because the pawn is on the right rank and the white pawn is now on the right rank as well? Can black capture it like this? The answer is no, because this pawn has only moved one step. En passant is only when that pawn rushes past you by moving two steps, not when it moves one. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around on chess.com.